Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Normal here, and in this video, let's talk about the OnePlus Oxygen OS 11.3. So, Oxygen OS 11.3 debuted with uh, the OnePlus Nord 2. So, we have the OnePlus Nord 2 with us, and if you look at the settings, uh, we have the Oxygen OS uh, uh, 11.2. Now, what has changed with uh, this 11. Point, uh, or rather 11.3 version? So, what has changed with uh, the Oxygen OS 11.3? is that uh, the code base has been changed now it it shares the code base with uh, uh, the opus color OA. so there are a lot of similarities between these oases now uh, here we can see that this runs on 11.3 now we'll have a quick comparison on what has changed so we have the one plus not c with the oxygen os 11 so uh, we'll just uh, quickly have a uh, look at what has changed and what are the new features being offered in terms of UI as well. So if you look at the home screen, uh, nothing much changed. It's exactly the same home screen. You can see uh, almost the same home screen. If you uh, select the app drawer here again, you can see the same app drawer. Nothing's changed here. Uh, if you look uh, closely, you can uh, see that uh, here also nothing's changed. Almost the same uh, look and feel and experience. Now, if you look at the uh, uh, the start or other the, uh, the notification toggle, here again, you can see that uh, both are exactly the same. No changes here as well, except for some font changes, which uh, we'll talk about in the later part. So again, these are similar aspects. So now let's go to the settings. So this is where uh, the major change comes in. So here you can see that this is the new settings panel. Comparing this with uh, the version on uh, um, uh, the OnePlus Nord C, you can see that uh, there has been some change. Uh, the look and feel has been changed. You can see that now the grouping has uh, changed here. You can see that Wi-Fi and network and Bluetooth connection. These are the only two options. While here you can see that Wi-Fi and SIM are separate. Bluetooth uh, is again uh, uh, differentiated from the connection and sharing. Uh, the display settings uh, uh, has been changed here. again. You can see the customization has gone to personalization. So if you select the personalization, you can see again look and feel. Uh, has been changed this is more uh, similar to the uh, opus color os than the one plus oxygen os so that is one of the changes you can uh, see here so if you uh, select the options you can see that wallpaper uh, fingerprint animation all those things exist uh, here as well uh, you can see that fingerprint animation uh, so some additional options are included in the fingerprint animation that's one uh, new change now if you uh, go to the colors uh, you can see accent colors so these are the two options so you can see here customization option exists in accent colors but in the new one uh, that option is there not there so you have to live with a few uh, accent colors which are included now if you lo look at the wallpaper you get the canvas as well so this is also included here now uh, other than that uh, horizon light everything is there but only the positioning has been changed now if you look at uh, the display option uh, let's go to the display and brightness so here again you can see that uh, some changes here and there in terms of how the look and feel uh, of the new UI is. Now if you uh, see here there is some advanced uh, screen uh, calibration option. So you get the vivid natural and advanced option. Now here you don't get that uh, you just get the vivid and the gentle option. So one option has been removed. So here you can see the gentle uh, sRGB uh, mode for natural colors. So here we have the natural and there is also advanced option that means you can go with uh, the wide gamut or the display p3 so whichever color gamut you want you could go there uh, here you don't get that option that's another uh, change which has happened with this so let's just come back here so that's uh, the display options now uh, uh, you can see that apart from that the, the grouping has also been changed uh, so grouping is kind of different here uh, now if you look at the battery setting this is one area where there is a change you can see that uh, the detailed stats are now gone so you don't get this graph here you just get the screen on time and uh, the available charge no graph is included that's kind of disappointing because the graph uh, itself uh, is a good indicator on uh, your usage pattern so that has been removed so next uh, in the software update page you can see that this is the software update page you don't see the option to manually install the update you could actually download the auto update and uh, uh, then you could manually install that has been removed so that is definitely disappointing at least for me I used to actually download it manually and install it so that is one feature which is missing uh, then uh, you can see the convenience tool here also you get the utilities it's called the utilities so you get uh, the parallel apps uh, and other options so these are um, uh, almost similar in terms of experience now uh, you can also see that ambient display and other options included uh, then um, 
uh, if you go to the about phone again now you can see that uh, slight change you could see that uh, image of the phone but now it's not there more or less similar to the oxygen os uh, or rather the color os uh, than the oxygen os so uh, this grouping has also been changed this is not, not much of any uh, difference uh, it makes to the overall experience because that's just the settings page but you can also see that the overall experience uh, of uh, uh, using the ui was better definitely on the older one plus uh, oxygen os than the new oxygen os this is more like color os not that color os is bad but uh, the oxygen os definitely had a different look and feel and that was definitely one of the highlights of the one plus oxygen os but now it is more like uh, the uh, oppo's color os Although OnePlus did claim that there won't be much of a difference or users won't be able to see that but this is more or less uh, visible in terms of uh, the user experience. So another change with respect to UI is the camera UI. You can see that uh, this is more resembling towards the color OS UI. Now uh, here you can see that how uh, the zoom option works. Uh, this is how the, uh, the uh, option to switch the camera lenses work. Here you can see that it's more or less, more or less like uh, the Oppo's UI. Now if you go to the video recording, you can see that uh, video resolution was top here. Now you can see that if you just you had to swipe uh, from the top to see the resolution. So UI has been changed. Uh, you can uh, see that uh, other options also looks uh, quite different uh, we get the more option here uh, here you don't have the more option all the op options were available in the main ui itself so this is uh, quite similar to how the oppo's ui looks so this is one major change with respect to the camera now uh, one more uh, feature added uh, here is the new font so if you go here and uh, if you go to the uh, options to personalization so you can see that there is one additional font uh, called uh, uh, the sans font so previously we had uh, these two fonts so we'll just take here as well so you can uh, see that uh, font uh, you can see here one plus sans and roboto were included now we have another font called uh, sans so this is one new font included if you want to try uh, something new so that's one additional feature included so these are some of the differences between uh, the oxygen os 11.3 on the one plus not two and the oxygen os 11.0 on the one plus not c so what do you guys uh, think about uh, this change do you like the uh, oxygen os 11.3 or the older oxygen uh, os uh, in, uh, in my personal opinion i like the older one because the ui uh, the uh, the settings panel was much better and refined than the new one not that it is bad but uh, i personally like the older oxygen os uh, looks so what do you guys think do share in your thoughts in the comment section so this was uh, a quick video on the oxygen os 11.3 with the older version in terms of features and settings so that's it for this video this is normal signing off thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day